Hey, what is going on everyone? This is another part of the series for the new marketing system that Acervia has and I'm not going to go into a whole intro, but I will go ahead and jump right into it. So let me share my screen real quick. So today I'm going to go over um, contacts. The next one I'll go over the social media, the tracking, your account, training, website, so on and so forth. So today we're going to go on to contact and how I got there. If you remember on the last video, um, you know, wherever you were left off at, all you have to do is click this home button right here, right here, and it's going to take you to this page. So we're going to go ahead and click on contacts. And uh, let my dial up pull, pull through. <laughs> I swear it's like going up a hill every single time I click on something. I'm getting it fixed though. Apparently AT&T uh, doubled my speed, or they're going to, so we'll see what ends up happening. Um, come on. There you go. Plowing ahead. So here we have your contacts. Now, I have none in here. I just, like I said, they just released it today, um, and I'm not going to show you all my contacts anyways. But here we go. So you have the search function right here, which you can actually search for a name, whatever. Um, you also have where you could filter it so you can filter it by, um, I guess what your, you know, name, email, phone number, the day you created it, when you last visited that contact. Um, but what we're going to focus on is the add and upload today. So to add a contact, you just go here and you click add and here you'll notice right here, you can only upload 10 contacts per day through this system, this system, yours, right? Um, however, there is another way you can get more than 10, um, and it's another part of this to where if they click on a link of yours and they input their information, then that also gets added into your contact list. Doesn't necessarily have to be them, I'm just saying. Anyways. Plowing ahead. So here you could put in, um, you know, let's just put John Doe. The ones that have the asterisk next to them, uh, that is mandatory for you to have in there. It's a mandatory field. We'll just put n and n.com, their mobile number, and your category. Now, I don't have any categories in here right now. This is one that automatically populates but you can actually create a new category here. So we can click new category and the category name is gonna be um, uh, net at networking event, right? And you can put um, a description here. You can put, you know, these people I met at some networking, I could spell networking event right there. And there it is, the relationship. Um, okay, now we're gonna go there. So basically, you can input their mobile number. If you don't have it, no big deal. It's not a mandatory one. All of the category is. So if you don't have that category listed yet, you can always put it right there. Um, your relationship. So your relationship to that person, a friend, family member, colleague, acquaintance. Um, let's see what else it gives you in here. Nothing else, okay. So we'll just put acquaintance on here right now you can also select an auto mail feature this is the auto responder feature in here also um, you can send them to that auto responder and you can put notes about that person also and then you click add new prospect yes I want to add so it says John Doe and n.com is added to your contact manager and you can see boom he pops up right there so let's say I want it I haven't done this yet but this is where you actually input more information than you did before. So let's say they gave you a business card, right? You can put in their business name, their address, everything you want, right? Video tracking, text tracking, email tracking, all that cool stuff is gonna be in here. Um, now, like I mentioned, you can only do 10 per day this way. There's also another way that you can do it, and that is the upload function. Here it is. So you can actually go here and browse the file. Um, you can put 400 contacts at a time in your system, which isn't a lot, um, but I believe there's a way to upgrade 
but for today's purposes, we're just going to go through on, um, you know, where to go to. So basically, when you click on upload contacts, you, you know, choose the file. It's going to populate that, right? And you can choose whatever file that you have for your, um, for your leads, right? And I'm not going to upload them now, but I'm just trying to show you, you know, where it's at. And then now I don't know how to get back. Oh, here you go. There's the X out button right here. So, and all of those will actually pop up and populate in your back office right in here. Um, and so that's kind of how you upload information, upload a lead, a contact, um, if you will, into the system. And hopefully this video was helpful. And if you want to continue to learn how to um, use the back office system, just hit subscribe. And there's going to be another video popping up here soon, probably here or here, but go ahead and hit the subscribe button also, and you'll get all the updates of when I upload another video. Um, also, come join the Young Hustler team if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, talk to you soon.